Hello and welcome to this new series on Latin NLP with Python. This series is going to be based around a couple different modules in Python and methods. Uh, the main module that we're going to be working with is CLTK, or the Classic Language Toolkit. This is kind of the industry standard if you're trying to perform NLP or natural language processing with Latin texts. And in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the concepts of NLP and the CLTK library generally, so that we can go, kind of go through this series with a, a basis in terminology that we can kind of move forward with. Uh, and the next video, I'm going to show you how to install CLTK because it is not necessarily all that intuitive especially if you're working on a Windows PC. So I'm going to show you some of the problems you're going to have installing CLTK and how to easily overcome those problems. Uh, and then as we kind of look at this course outline, I'm going to be showing you how to really harness all the power that CLTK brings to the table. I'll show you how you can uh, use their corpus readers and their uh, textual corpuses, which have a few little quirks that you kind of need to get used to in order to use them. And then we're going to move into the actual NLP methods that CLTK offers. We're going to look at data standardization, the conversion of J's to I's and V's to U's. Then we're going to move into data preparation. What are some good uh, methods for preparing your data for analyzing them in Python? Then we're going to look at how to decline a word using CLTK. We're going to look at CLTK's limitizer, so reducing a word to its root. We're going to look at the macronizer, line tokenization. You'll find out what a token is. That's always a lot of fun. Uh, sentence tokenization, word tokenization. Uh, then we're going to also start to kind of shift around number 12. We're going to speak a lot about the limitations of CLTK. Now, don't get me wrong, CLTK is a powerful tool that you should become very familiar with, but it's not the be-all end-all. There are limitations, and these are actually admitted by the designers on their page, some of the limitations, and we're going to kind of explore them as we explore parts of speech and named entity recognition, that is NER. And then I'm going to introduce you to some other tools that you might not necessarily have heard of or be familiar with. And that's uh, Colatinus, Colatinus, for example, and also the very popular for people like me who are lazy with Latin, Whit Whitaker's Words. And I'm going to show you some methods I've developed with Whitaker's Words in Python by creating an API that interacts with Whitaker's Words and essentially can be used to brute force uh, word lists from Whitaker's words, kind of like uh, Colatinus, but a little different and might generate some interesting and useful output that can compete with or be comparable to Colatinus and CLTK. And then I'm going to show you how to some do some useful tricks such as uh, creating cheat sheets for texts with Whitaker's words, Colatinus and CLTK, and then also creating a synonym dictionary. And then finally, I'm going to show you a really fun trick with Whitaker's words in Python and the API that we're going to develop in this series to perform named entity recognition with Whitaker's words that is actually better than CLTK and Colatinus, especially if you are working with medieval Latin texts, which are not exactly fully supported by both of those. So here's the standard citation for CLTK. Take a minute to screenshot it if you want to. I'm going to pop it down in the description down below. So real quickly, let's talk about NLP, Natural Language Processing. What is NLP? Well, NLP is a way of using computers to analyze texts. Now, that might seem weird to us humanists, but I promise you it is the future. Why is it the future? Well, it's the future because machines can process texts much more efficiently and much more effectively than humans can. Uh, we might be able to discern certain nuances that a computer can't discern, but we don't have the ability, say, to read one million sentences of Latin in a reasonable amount of time. With CLTK and other NLP natural language processing methods, a computer can read millions of sentences in a matter of minutes or hours if you're working on a slower machine. Essentially, NLP affords humanists the ability to analyze texts in quantities that would take a lifetime or be entirely infeasible for a single person to analyze. So, we use this idea of heurism or heuristic method 
I'll spell that for you right here, heuristic. And this comes from computer science. And it's this idea that we trade off a little bit of accuracy and a little bit of nuance in exchange for a huge amount of quantity that can be analyzed in a, uh, as opposed to a normal, more analog method using a human to analyze a text. So NLP allows us to analyze a large amount of text in a very short amount of time. And NLP has a whole bunch of different methods within it. And we're going to be introducing you those to the, uh, you to those methods throughout this course, such as limitization, tokenization, uh, word separation, word segmentation, parts of speech, named entity recognition. You're going to find out what all of these mean in later videos as we encounter them. But for right now, just be familiar with this general idea of NLP, natural language processing, and you'll be fine moving forward. So what is CLTK? Well, CLTK stands for Classic Language Toolkit. Essentially what it is, is it's a way to analyze ancient and medieval languages in a nifty little toolkit that has a bunch of Python functions. In order to use it, and I don't know if there is another way to do it, but in order to use it, you have to know Python. If there's a way to do it without Python or another programming language, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But I've only ever worked with it in Python, and I believe it's you kind of have to know Python to use it. So CLTK comes from a collection of tools called the uh, NLTK, the Natural Language Toolkit. That's more for modern, modern languages like French, German, English, etc. Uh, for analyzing them in NLP. But CLTK allows us to do kind of similar methods such as tokenization, named entity recognition, uh, limitization. It allows us to do all that with kind of the more complicated ancient and medieval languages. You've got Greek in there. You've got Latin in there. Those are the two biggies. But you also have things like Persian. You've got Old English, Old Norse. Uh, now, they don't have as much uh, functions and tools on there as, say, Latin and Greek, but they are building those tools every single year. So keep on looking back to CLTK's website, and I'll provide a link in the description down below to kind of get a more recent update on what they offer uh, for what languages. So CLTK is essentially a module or library that you can install in Python that allows for you to analyze ancient texts. And in this series, we're going to be specifically looking at Latin texts. Not just any Latin, but we're going to be using medieval Latin. And why? Well, first of all, I'm a medievalist, so I'm kind of partial to medieval Latin. But more importantly, medieval Latin provides us with rougher Latin. Latin that isn't necessarily accounted for in your um, classical uh, uh, dictionaries, your classical Latin dictionaries, your classical Latin grammars. It has some oddities and some inconsistencies with classical Latin syntax, etc. And that makes it a little bit more challenging. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use CLTK to show you how you can kind of overcome some of these inconsistencies in medieval Latin using computers in Python. So why bother learning CLTK? Well, here's a reason why. Let's say you're working with a giant text. In this example, we just have one single sentence. It's a little long, but it's a sentence. CLTK allows for us to do various things, such as we can go through and word tokenize this entire text and break it down into a bunch of individual words. Why is that useful? Well, if you're trying to analyze a text in a large quantity, understanding what you words are used and when is essential. But I know what you're probably thinking, Latin is an inflected language. We have words that have different meanings depending upon how they are conjugated or declined. Well, Fortunately, Whitaker's words also provides a limitizer, so you can analyze the frequency of a word no matter its form, either conjugation or declension. And as you can tell here, you can go through and break a word down into its root. This is limitization. Now, I'm going to go through. I don't expect you to know what all this is right now. We haven't even begun to talk about CLTK yet. I just am doing this as a pure demonstration of CLTK's power and why you should consider learning CLTK if you are going to be working with Latin texts in a digital environment. So stick with me throughout this series and you'll come away with a good understanding of NLP, a good understanding of how to prepare Latin texts for uh, analysis by computers. And you're also going to understand a lot of the key 
uh, essential functions that CLTK offers. Now, it's not going to be entirely comprehensive, but you will come away from this 22 video series or so, you'll come away with a very good understanding of how to use CLTK in your projects. That's all for right now. Thank you for listening. If you're excited about this project, please like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video when we install CLTK.